Okay, so I'm gonna be doing my second take on this video so that there's no interruptions in this take. So, the last take, there was interruptions. Um, so, I'm gonna talk about how we should preach the gospel. I'm gonna go to Matthew 28. Or, let's see where Jesus said the Great Commission, and it's in Matthew 28. And so it starts in verse 18. And Jesus came up and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I commanded you, and lo, I am always with you, even to the end of the age. Without further ado, I'm going to pray. Dear God, thank you for this time. No. We can do this, Lord. I can do this, Lord. You are awesome, you're amazing. Please bless this time that we reflect on the Great Commission and how we should be preaching the gospel to others. Lord, you're awesome, you're amazing. You're precious, precious and holy, Lord. I say amen. So now I'm gonna be talking about how we should preach the gospel to others. So first thing first. We should definitely show people that we love Jesus, but we should show them that they love we we love Jesus by the way we live our lives. By the way our lives have lived out. By the way you live your life. And it's very easy to be caught up in sin, caught up in the world. But it can also be hard. It can be hard at times. And God is always with us. Jesus is God. That's why it says all authority has been given to me. That's why he said that. Because all authority, all authority has been given to him. So we should always be looking up to God. We should always be making disciples. But when you first start a conversation with somebody, just ask, start out by asking them, how is your day? How are you? And hopefully Jesus will be in the conversation in there somewhere. Because we want to minister to people. We want to talk to others about Jesus. We want to show them how much Jesus really loves and cares. And he's out there to seek. Uh, he wants to seek you. But and for, for first, he wants you to seek him. We're going to seek him. We're going to be looking up to him. I always be in our everyday lives just rely on him. Uh, I know it's hard to be a Christian sometimes. I know it's hard to follow Jesus, be a Jesus follower, especially with a lot of people who judge you for being a Jesus follower. It can be tough. Luckily, I haven't had a, a whole lot of judgment about being a Jesus follower. I had a little bit of it. Um, but um, but Jesus, he wants you to make disciples of him. If you are truly a follower of him, you should be making disciples of him. We should invite him to, like, your house. Even during COVID, even if you have to wear masks, invite him, invite someone who doesn't believe in Jesus to your house and show them Jesus. This isn't Jesus. Jesus is up there. I'm just saying we should show people Jesus. And we should show them um, we can show them this verse when they're ready. But this verse is the foundation of why people preach the gospel. Why we should be preaching the gospel. Because Jesus wants us to make disciples of all nations. He says, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So yeah, guys, that's part one of this topic. That will be going more into detail. I don't know how many parts I'll be having in this series I'll be doing for a while. But I hope you like this particular series of 
why how, how we should preach the gospel. So I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna end this video. Dear God, thank you for this time I could do this. Lord, you're awesome. You're amazing. Please bless those who are gonna watch this video. Lord, you're awesome. I hope it blesses people who listen to what I had to say. And thank you for giving me a heart to preach your name in my music and in my everyday life and show them how much you care about them. So yeah, God, you're awesome. You're amazing. Please get rid of COVID. I love you so much. Please get rid of this cold that my body is starting to get. And uh, yeah, you're awesome. You're amazing. Lord, praise this one. You want to see it, man. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching my video. And uh, hope you like the rest of the videos that are in this, that are going to be in this series. So yeah, bye fam, for now.